One in every four people by 2050 will be in Africa. The mean age on the continent is 19, 1.2 billion people. We know all of this mm -hmm. and it's it's our dividend, mm -hmm. right? What is Rwanda, what are you considering when it comes to strategies, practical plans mm -hmm. to build and skill mm -hmm. people in industries? Mm -hmm. let, let me start off with this, Zane, and I made this point yesterday. Let's assume that AI is a cake we're baking. There's all these ingredients that we need to have in place. And I think when you look at, let's pick five top ones. There's data, there's skills, and I'll come back to the question you're asking me about. There's the compute infrastructure, there's the regulatory environment. Now, when you look at all of this, and the use cases, obviously, when you look at all of this, we have some, I may say, advantages for ourselves as a continent. And skills is one of them because of the youthful population that we have who will be more open to using AI but also building AI solutions. And so, of course, the things that fundamentally we're all struggling with and require the coming together on the infrastructure side and regulatory side, but when I think about skills, it, for me, it's more like a low-hanging fruit for us. Mm -hmm. So what is Rwanda doing? We've had the privilege of having partners uh, like Carnegie Mellon University that has been in Rwanda for more than 10 years now, and they've been delivering master's level degree programs, and today they have an engineering in AI program they're, they're doing you have the Africa Institute for Mathematical Sciences that is doing both PhD level and uh, master's level programs in AI, machine learning, and natural language processing. But at the end of the day, those are also not enough. Right now, we uh, about five years ago, we created the Coding Academy. Uh, we're bringing in very brilliant 13-year-olds into a three-year program. And it's amazing to see it's the It's amazing that the 13-year-olds are exactly. like killing. Exactly. But this is where you need to test them <laughs> when they're still excited yeah. and they're willing to experiment and they have... But what we're increasingly seeing is that we're going to have to attract more partners that will come in to help us to build the talent that we need, but at the same time to also create the market that absorbs them. Because it's one thing to build the talent, but if they don't have anywhere to go, and I feel like we won't be able to get to capitalize on what we've been able to. And the other piece that we talked a lot about was the investment ecosystem yes. and innovative financing. Yes. What's the fastest route in your view to at least getting a kickstart and building superpowers. My firm belief is that money follows talent. Without the right talent, it will be difficult to create that investment ecosystem that we're looking for. 